Alberta Health Services. Healthy Albertans, healthy communities, together. Good afternoon, everyone. My name is Linda Hughes. I'm Chair of Alberta Health Services Board, and I'd like to welcome you to this AHS Public Board Meeting. Thank you for taking the time to dial in and join us. This will be a short meeting, as we only have certain motions to consider. This meeting is by teleconference today. When I ask for a vote on a motion, I will ask for those in favour, and then I will ask for those opposed or abstaining. If none are in the latter group, I will declare the motion passed. Could I ask someone to move approval of the agenda? Hugh. Seconder? Heather. Thank you. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? Hearing none, I'll consider that passed. Uh, declaration of conflict of interest. Does anyone have a conflict of interest they'd like to declare at this time? Hearing none, I'll move along. Our first item is Finance Committee. David? Thank you, Madam Chair. As uh, Chair of the Finance Committee of the Board, I'm presenting three motions <coughs> for consideration today. First, the Committee considered an authorization for expenses for AHS from April 1, 2019 to June 30, 2019. The committee recommended that the Board approve the authorization for expenses. Accordingly, I move that the Alberta Health Services Board authorize AHS to incur, firstly, maximum expenses of $3,825,000,000 for the period April 1, 2019 to June 30, 2019, and two, maximum capital expenditures of $120,000,000 for the period April 1, 2019 to June 30, 2019. I hereby move. Could I have a seconder? Glenda. Thank you. All in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? Hearing none, I'll consider that carried. Uh, David, your next motion. Next, the uh, committee considered two funding arrangements. The first is with Covenant Health. Accordingly, I move that the Alberta Health Services Board, firstly, approve the 2018-2019 Covenant Health Acute Care funding and the amounts and on the terms as reviewed by the board. Secondly, approve the preliminary 2019-2020 Covenant Health Acute Care Funding in the amounts and on terms as reviewed by the Board. And thirdly, delegate authority to the AHS President and CEO to sign the payment requisitions. I so move. Thank you. Could I have a seconder? I'll second that. It's Glenda. Thank you. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? Hearing none, that's carried. And back to you again, David. The uh, uh, second is with respect to AHS subsidiaries and the Saskatchewan Health Authority. Accordingly, I move that the Alberta Health Services Board firstly approve the preliminary 2019-2020 annual funding to AHS wholly owned subsidiaries and to the Saskatchewan Health Authority in the mounts and on terms reviewed by the board. And secondly, Delegate signing authority to the AHS President and Chief Executive Officer to sign the payment requisitions or revenue transfer journal entries for such funding. I so move. Seconder? I'll second that. It's Glenda. Thank you. All in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? Hearing none, that's carried. Thank you, David. Uh, Quality and Safety Committee, Glenda? Thank you, Madam Chair. Uh, as Chair of the Quality and Safety Committee of the Board, I'm presenting one motion for approval. The uh, committee met earlier in, in the week. The committee considered for recommendation for approval to the Alberta Health Services. Um, for approval, the Alberta Health Services accreditation status and activities for health facilities and programs, sorry, that's a mouthful, annual report. Ministerial directive uh, for mandatory accreditation in Alberta's health system requires Alberta Health Services to provide information on accreditation activities and outcomes and accreditation status in an annual report to the Minister. And this was uh, reviewed by the committee and the committee is recommending approval of the board. So accordingly, I move that the Alberta Health Services Board 1 approve the Alberta Health Services Accreditation Status and Activities for Health Facilities and Programs Annual Report 
the report. Two, have the board chair deliver the report to the Minister of Health by March 31st, 2019. And three, direct management to make the report available on the AHS public website as soon as practical. I so move. Thank you. Could I have a seconder? Uh, it's Marla, so I would be happy to second. Thank you. All in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? Thank you. Hearing none, that's carried. Thanks, Glenda. And finally, uh, Community Engagement Committee. Brenda? Thank you, Madam Chair. As Chair of the Community Engagement Committee of the Board, I'm presenting one motion for approval. Under the amended bylaw for Alberta Health Services establishing Health Advisory Council, the AHS Board is required to approve renewals and appointments of members to the Health Advisory Councils. In addition, the Board is required to approve membership appointments for each of the Provincial Advisory Councils. The committee reviewed new appointments or renewals to the Cancer Provincial Advisory Council and certain Health Advisory Councils and recommended that the AHS Board approve such appointments. We're very grateful for the commitment of our volunteers across the province. We value their work and appreciate their commitment to health care in the province. Given the number of appointments to these entities, names will not be read in this meeting, but they will be incorporated into the minutes of the meeting and posted publicly. Accordingly, I move that the Alberta Health Services Board approve the membership renewals for the Cancer Provincial Advisory Council and the new appointments to the Health Advisory Councils for the terms reviewed by the committee and the board, details of which will be incorporated into the minutes and posted publicly. I so move. Thank you. Could I have a seconder? I do, Richard. Thank you. All in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? Hearing none, that's approved. All right, thank you everyone. We've reached the end of our agenda. I declare this meeting adjourned. Uh, thank you again for joining us and have a good day everybody. Good day all. Together, we do amazing things every day.